So you lose your money. And the money you lose is, of course, much worse than, than the inflation. Okay, I saw a newspaper report the other day. Let me tell you this to give you an idea of what's going on with our news media and the lies they're telling our children, the unaware Americans. This is a true story. Several years ago, I was watching the television. I saw the news reporter from the big television stations, news media, report from Beirut, Lebanon. And this guy was saying, ladies and gentlemen, I just can't believe it. But here in Lebanon, we're having a major civil war. We've got five different groups armed to the teeth trying to kill each other. <clears throat> Everybody's throwing bombs and shooting at everybody. He says this country is invaded by a number of different armies. They've got the American army in one part, the Israeli army in another part, the Syrian army in another part. <clears throat> Everybody's shooting and dropping bombs. And ladies and gentlemen, we just can't believe it. We don't know what, what in the world's happening, but these people here, they have no inflation. <clears throat> they have no inflation whatsoever in their currency with all this commotion going on. The next thing is their currency is silver and gold, and we can't understand why it's staying the same value. That's how they report it. The silver and gold stays the same value. Of course, during times of economic uncertainty, it goes up tremendously. Let me um, explain it this way. This, this silver dollar here, when I leave the steakhouse here, <coughs> the guy knows who it is, and I flip it on the counter, I can use this silver dollar to pay for a good meal for me and my wife at a, um, a nice restaurant. In 1930, I could have taken the same silver dollar and gone to a similar type restaurant and paid for a meal for me and my wife. In 1830, I could have taken the same silver dollar to a nice restaurant and bought a nice meal for me and my wife. You saw earlier, let me show you the cougar land. I can take that cougar land downtown and buy two nice men's suits. In 1930, I could have taken the cougar land downtown and buy two nice men's suits. In 1830, I could have taken the cougar land downtown and bought two nice men's suits. In so far as goods and services, the price in silver and gold stays about the same. It goes up and down on a daily basis, but on the average it stays about the same with goods and services and labor over the centuries. <coughs> there are certain exceptions. When survival time comes, the price in silver and gold skyrocket. They become worth a fortune. If you've got silver and gold when the crisis hits, you become very wealthy. Let me explain that to you. What I can do is go put a $1,000 mortgage on my house and take that $1,000 and go buy me 120 bullion coins. When the survival times come, I can take me one of these coins and sell it and go pay off the 1,000 note mortgage on my house, pay off the other $50,000 on my house. With the other 119 of these coins, I can go buy downtown Atlanta. In survival times, the silver and gold became of increased value. Let me explain it to you. <clears throat> the economic crisis hits, the guy that owns this restaurant, he wants to buy food for his family. And he'll find that these bricks are hard to eat and the shingles don't make a very good salad. So he goes to the farmer and says, I want to sell you a restaurant. The farmer says, I don't want restaurants, I want silver and gold. Let me tell you something. Throughout history, people have always taken silver and gold, and they always will. Silver and gold always have value. People will always take it. The farmers will always take silver and gold for the food. If you're hungry, you can buy something with silver and gold. Otherwise, you're taking your chances. So this guy that has this restaurant, he can't get anything to eat. And I can come to him with one coin and offer it to him, I say, I'll buy you a whole restaurant and your house too for this coin. And unless he can find some way to eat the bricks, he's going to have to sell me everything he has for one coin to get something to eat. So if silver and gold, if you buy silver and gold now over the years, it won't draw interest, but you'll make a little bit. If survival terms come, you become very wealthy. So you're taking a chance if you've got 
your money and treasure bills to fix bonds and losing everything. If you buy silver and gold, you really don't lose, but you come out very good in survival times. A lot of times people say, what to buy silver or gold? What we recommend is you start out buying silver, and after you have a, <coughs> a year's supply of that, then buy gold and maybe some numismatic coins. <coughs> silver and gold uh, have different values, and the values change up and down. <coughs> but basically, silver is more recognized in this country. If you're an international trader and do business all over the world, you might <coughs> start <coughs> getting gold first, because that's more recognized all over the world. Both silver and gold are recognized more than anything else. Both of them are recognized all over the world, but gold is recognized a little bit more elsewhere. In this country, it's silver. <coughs> silver has more uses, so the down is a little bit. Gold is used for medium of change of jewelry and only a couple of space satellites. Silver is used for a number of things in the industrial process, computers, electrical contacts, so it has more value and it's more uses, so we suggest you get silver. The next thing is, insofar as silver and gold, uh, silver is more dividable. <clears throat> During survival times, you go to the farmer <clears throat> and you have a silver coin, you give him the silver coin and he gives you half, half a bushel of wheat. Well, let's say all you have is gold coins, you go to the farmer and you offer him a cougar land for his wheat, he says, fine, I'll take it. You say, no, I want my change. He says, well, I don't give change. I don't want to give change. You either go hungry or you give him the cougar land for your silver. So in the long run, you're a little bit better off using silver, and silver as your survival currency. Both of them are fine, but we would recommend silver first. Now, a lot of times people ask uh, how to buy it. You can buy silver in a number of methods. You can buy it, what we recommend in, in these round coins. But I have right here a silver agate. This is put out by a private company, in this case Madison Mint. There's a number of companies that put out these little silver commemoratives, <coughs> various shapes and sizes. Uh, Franklin Mint's the main one. And they put out now the, the U.S. President thing, also one of the space satellites. These things look are very pretty. If you want something pretty, of course, we recommend that. But the, the round coin is more recognized all over the world. It's more usable. What's the difference between this silver agate, which is one ounce of fine silver, and this round um, one ounce of fine silver coin? What's the difference? The difference is the size and the looks. There is no other difference. They're both one ounce of silver. But the round one is more acceptable, it's more recognizable, it's more useful, it's more liquid. People are used to it. <coughs> you can get either one, but this is more useful, so we recommend this. Also, these things sell for a pretty high premium. It costs a lot. You buy these things for about 40 bucks a piece rather than nine when you buy these. But these come in a very pretty mahogany box with some pretty velvet, a nice glass cover, real nice. So you can get that. Uh, but in survival times, these might go from 40 bucks to 80 bucks, and these go at nine bucks to 90 bucks. So these will increase value. Uh, in 1979, People were buying the American silver dollars and melting them down to make these silver round coins. The silver round coins were more easy to use and therefore more liquid. The American silver dollars, of course, were recognized in this country, but it wasn't that easy to use. If I go into the store to buy a pair of shoes, I flip my round coin on the counter, and the guy looks in the newspaper and sees what the spot price of silver is and gives him my shoes and my change. If I flip on the counter the cartwheel, the American silver dollar, then he looks and sees what the spot price of silver is and gets a slide rule out to figure this and figure that. Well, people don't want to mess with that. They want the one ounce of silver. Uh, in 1979, you could actually make money by paying for the electricity and the labor and the smelter to melt cartwheels down to make the one ounce coin. Uh, this right here is a private coin put out by a private company, and on the back it's got the hallmark of the private company. This is the same thing. It's put out by a private company, and on the back it's got the name of the co company, in this case Engelhart. This is the American Prospector. And they put this out. There's a whole bunch of companies that do it, and that's good. So if you want to buy these things, you can buy them from the local coin dealer. 
and you pay a pretty hefty price, we would recommend that you uh, go go to the um, the stamper and get a better price, but you've got to buy a whole bunch of them. If you want to buy these things, you can get them downtown. Also, there are a number of people that you can call up and buy these things through the mail. The Spotlight uh, advertises a number of dealers. The Spotlight sells these things through the mail, and there are a number of people that can do this. Most of the people that sell these to the mail have a toll-free number. So just think, if you buy silver for them, you get to use a free telephone. Of course, we know there's, there's no such thing as a free lunch, and it's not really a free telephone call. You pay this when you purchase your coin. Let me tell you what we did in South Carolina, which you're all welcome to join with us if you like. We formed the Silver Investment Club, the Liberty Silver Investment Club. What we do is each month we pool our money and put all our money in one bucket. And one person, whoever's job it is that month, enters the silver market to buy a large amount of silver and gold. Therefore, you can buy a lot of it at a better price. I could go to the silver market on Mondays, and Jeff could go on on the 5th of the month, and John can go on the 10th of the month, and each of us buy it separately. We're going to buy a little bit and pay a super premium. But if we all buy our silver at one time on one market, we get a lot better price. Uh, silver, the silver market, the way it's constituted is, you pay a super premium if you buy one. If you buy from the same place, a hundred of them, you get a much, much better, better price. And if you start buying hundreds of them at a time, you can go to the people that stamp them out and buy them at a low price. We're buying our silver now at spot plus 50 cents. You simply can't beat it. And as we grow and get larger, we've got people who will sell us our silver at, at almost a few, only a few pennies over spot. So if you want to buy silver at a very good price, at dealer prices, you might think about joining our club. What you have to do is send your money to us on the tenth of each month. And then we add up how much money we got that month and go in the silver market with a whole bucket full of money and buy it at super low prices. And then the silver shipped to us, we divide it up and ship it out to you. And this is the best way to do it. You can form your own silver investment club, we'll be glad to help you and show you how it's done, or you can join ours either way. Now, since we, we sell silver to you at 50 cents over spot, if your money gets to us ahead of time for us to order on the 10th of the month, or whatever number, new number we choose, uh, it has to be on the 10th of the month, and we buy on the 15th of the month, or if it's a holiday, it'll be the next business day, or in some cases, the previous business day. But you send your money to us on the 10th, we're in the silver market, buy the silver and ship it to you. Now, we have certain expenses dealing with having this money shipped here and there and, and getting the program out. So we charge a $5 administrative fee. And you have to buy $50, you have to send at least $50. You send at least $50, you can send any amount more than that, and you pay a $5 administrative fee. We get the silver, and we ship it to the club leader in each area, one central location. And then the club leader divides it up and gets it out to everybody. If we send it to you individually, and we charge you postage and shipping, that's generally around a buck, that buck fifty. But if you have it sent to one location, there's no additional charge. So if you're in a member of a club, you pay $50 a month and you get $45 worth of silver, a spot plus 50 cents. So generally you get about uh, five to nine of these things each month. And the picture of them is different. We buy them from different people every month. So the picture is different, except soon we'll be start having a picture of me on them. And of course, we might keep that for a long time. If you're a good, good boy, we might even put your picture on there. It's not that expensive to have whatever picture you want. Uh, a lot of people try to buy these government coins. We recommend against that because they're generally a paper trail to you. The government coins have a, a price on them. If they start confiscating your coins, they can pay you in Federal Reserve notes that one dollar they've got stamped on their coin, and then you lose, lose whatever you've got. So we don't recommend that. These um, bullion coins are the best. Also, if you join our Silver Purchase Club and you introduce other people to our club, we send you a one dollar per month bonus. It's limited multi-level aspects, but a one dollar a month 
It'll help you out if you introduce our program to others. And they introduce it to somebody else. It's 50 cents. We've got our little sheet. Explains all this to you. We recommend that you read the sheet, see how our program works, and join up with our Silver Investment Club. And we think you'll benefit you a lot.